what's going on y'all today i'm going to give y'all three reasons why your loops don't sound that good and i'm going to give y'all some tips on how to improve your loops for church so you're going to want to make sure that you stay until the end so i created a basic little groove or whatever um, and we're going to make a loop based off of this so check it out So that's the groove right there. So when making a loop, the first thing that you're always gonna wanna do is figure out what the tempo is. So I figured out that the tempo is 91, of course, because I made the loop. Now we're gonna pull up some samples. So what I always recommend when making loops, we're gonna start with the shakers. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I always tell you to start with the shakers first. We're actually gonna take the drums out and just keep the groove in there. All right, so we got the shakers in there. So reason number one, your loops probably don't sound that good is because you didn't quantize it. It is very important that you just about quantize everything when making a loop. The loop is for the drummer to be locked to. The loop is almost like a metronome. So it's very important that the drummer is able to lock in with it. And this is how you quantize in Logic. We're gonna double click what we just played. We're gonna click the grid. We're gonna do Command A. Then we're gonna press Q. When we press Q, you see that these MIDI files, they kinda all lock to the grid. And now we're gonna do Option. And we're gonna drag this over. And now we're gonna do J and we're gonna join. Next thing we are going to do, we're gonna add in some claps and a tambourine. Reason number two, your loops don't sound good is because your loops don't have enough texture in them. Um, what do I mean by that? One of the secrets that I often do, I'm about to give y'all a secret that I do. This is what I often do. I often will stack a clap and a tambourine together. And what that does is that creates texture on top of the loop. It makes the loop sound more fuller. Another thing that I will do is I'll add some off timing triangles within the loop. That's a tip that I've learned from like the West Coast guys, like listen to their music. You'll often hear like a little triangle going in and going out. And I'm going to show y'all how I do that. <laughs> All right, we quantize that. The triangle that I'm adding and the nuances that I'm doing is all based on feel. So you're gonna have to fill out, you know, how you want the loop to feel. All right, to add some more texture, we're gonna add like in some bungos or perk or something like that. So So we're just constantly building on top of what we already have there. Tip number three, why your loop doesn't sound that good. And this is how you improve it. Based on the samples you use is based on the quality that you're going to get. Your loops will be no better than the samples that you are using. If you don't know what samples are, samples are one shots. So you got samples like you got a shaker. You got claps. Oftentimes what happens in softwares like Logic, um, they give you basic claps and they give you basic shakers. Not to say that you can't make incredible loops with stock stuff. I am a fan of using stock stuff, but if you want a edge, if you want an advantage, you're gonna have to get yourself some access to some exclusive samples, some things that um, will kind of take you to that next level and set you apart. If you want access to some samples, I just released a new sample pack called Premium Church Ready Samples. You can get access to that in the link below. These are all the samples that I'm using right now. So let's add a kick to this. So the three tips that we got, I'll go through it again. We got quantize, number one. Number two, you're gonna wanna add texture to your loops, make your loop interesting, make it move. And number three is to make sure you're using quality samples when making loops. That is very, very, very important. Let's check out this loop with the drums. <laughs> That is three ways you improve your loops. I hope that this video was helpful. Please hit that like button and hit subscribe for me, please. We're trying to grow this channel. We're trying to do a lot of great things for musicians in general, and I hope that you will be a part of my journey. Thank you guys for checking out this video. We out.